Now we turn to spring break nightmares. The latest caught on tape at a Fort Lauderdale area gas station. Watches for visiting Indiana University students are rushed by an armed would-be robber. The spring breakers fight back, tackling the man to the ground. In the struggle, they even managed to strip him of his gun. Thankfully, the gunman was later arrested and no one was hurt, but not all spring break scares end so well. Today, the darker side, all that fun in the sun. Spring break, let's go, let's go, oh! For countless college kids coast to coast, it's a rite of passage, a time to bask in the sun and swim in the alcohol. Are you double fisting right now? It's the only way to do it. In Miami, Spring break sucker punches and bikini brawls in the street have led to an increased police presence to combat the chaos. Officers in riot gear are parking prison vans along Ocean Drive to deter the debauchery. And just last week, a sobering tragedy for the city. Mariah Michelle Logan was crushed to death on the last day of her spring break. She was hanging out of her rental car yelling, by Miami, when she flew out the window and was run over by a Range Rover. It's really horrifying to hear stories like this, not only as a therapist, but as a mother of two teens, the judgment part of their brain doesn't make good decisions. They don't understand cause and effect, and that leaves them vulnerable. My friends are such enablers, they're like, yeah, you should do it. In South Padre Island, Texas, a pre-med student better known as Flagpole Girl achieved lofty status after her good old college try became a viral epic fail. Every time I get on my Instagram, at least 100 follower requests, people messaging me asking me if I'm dead. It's kind of short-sighted thinking, that sense of invincibility. I'll put myself in harm's way, I'll be semi-famous, and especially with social media out there, it just makes it even more dangerous. I've taken dangerous dives, and some have even died after accidental resort balcony falls. The latest in Cancun, where a Michigan teen tumbled seven floors to his death. College kids are dying in record numbers and a lot of it is due to consumption of alcohol. Young men on spring break reported drinking an average of 18 drinks per day and women an average of 10 a day. But Florida freshman Molly Ammon had the equivalent of 13 drinks, a blood level of 0.4, five times the legal limits when she was found dead from alcohol poisoning in her spring break condo. Half of college kids binge drink especially during spring break. It can lead to death, but it can also lead to sexual assault for women. A Panama City, Florida beach is still stained by the acts of two men caught on tape, gang raping a woman passed out in a beach chair. Hundreds of people surrounded them, but shockingly, no one intervened. People standing, almost rubbing the incapacitated girl. More concerned about spilling their beer than they did someone being raped. In Cabo San Lucas, a Michigan student on spring break was followed into a cab by a club security guard. The guard and the cab driver viciously violated her. They assaulted me, molested me, kidnapped me, and, and raped me. Lucy Grandolph escaped only to later take her own life consumed by mental anguish over that spring break nightmare she could not forget. Hopefully, a story like this can get the message out there that dangerous things happen. Bad things happen to good people. Bad things happen to misguided kids. You're not as safe as you think you are.